perfect fall morning together. I was gonna do this video no matter what, like a cozy fall morning, but then I saw Nikki do a ChatGPT morning routine, and I was very intrigued to see what ChatGPT had to say about an autumn-themed morning. So I've gone ahead and asked her to create the perfect autumn morning at home. I don't even think I'm gonna make any edits. I thought I was gonna have to make edits, but I think she kind of nailed it. Guys, if you're not on ChatGPT, get on that. I don't even use Google anymore. <laughs> this is my friend. <laughs> Creating the perfect autumn morning at home involves engaging in all the senses to invoke a cozy, warm, and inviting atmosphere. That's the most me sentence I've ever read. Start with soft lighting. Check. Absolutely nailed that. I have a nice orange glow coming from the hatch. Use warm ambient lighting to create a soft glow. String fairy lights around windows or place candles on tables and shelves. Consider battery operated candles for safety and convenience. Okay, should we decorate my office? I do have some battery operated candles. I do have extra lights that I didn't use for my coffee bar that I could put on my bookshelf. And I definitely have normal candles. So we'll definitely be getting very cozy today. She basically said to light as many candles as I can. That's what I'm getting from that. So we will absolutely be creating the coziest atmosphere today. Bring in autumn scents. Oh, ahead of the game. Light a fall scented candle or use an essential oil diffuser with scents like cinnamon, clove, vanilla, apple, pumpkin, or cedar wood. These warm and earthy scents instantly create a cozy autumnal vibe. <laughs> now the only thing is this isn't really a routine. This is more just creating the perfect autumn vibe in the morning, but maybe that's okay. This sounds honestly perfect. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I did read ahead a little bit, but I'm not gonna show you guys right now. First things first is all of our cozy lighting. So I guess we'll go downstairs. We'll light up the coffee bar, light all my candles, and I need to drink my morning water. I was drinking like, oh, maybe I will have my chia seed water. I don't know. That's all the rage right now on TikTok. Everybody's drinking chia seed water. I find it actually does nothing for me. You know what I think it is? This chia seed water magic. I think you bitches don't drink water in the morning. I think everybody wakes up, they have no water, and then they maybe have coffee. So when now you're drinking an entire thing of water, I think that's what's getting people's digestive systems going more. Because honestly, I'll just drink my normal water that I have every morning and that gets my digestive system going. I don't need to be adding chia seeds to it. It's because you're drinking water in the morning, babes, okay? You don't need to add chia seeds. Just drink a glass of water in the morning. I do have my glass of water, my greens, and my Brazil nuts, first thing. God, I'm yappy. I'm yappy, I'm yappy. Holding you still. Yeah. great day yesterday so this video is coming at the perfect time to just enjoy a cozy little fall morning with you guys in my little morning cocktail along with my water i'm doing greens glutamine this is it's like good for your stomach lining and i'm focusing on gut health because i'm also having this nature's finest probiotic it's a coconut probiotic. I talked about it briefly on TikTok. I don't know if it's been working. 
I, I don't know guys, I've been feeling so weird lately. I just don't feel like myself. I think my identity was tied so heavily to how hard I worked out or something because I used to like lift constantly and then I did CrossFit really hard and now I'm like really stepping back from working out and not in a bad way, like I'm still walking every day, I still do yoga Pilates, I do something active every day, I have been lifting kind of, but it's just kind of hard, like I'm trying to find a routine with that, I'm trying to figure out like what you guys want to see from me, what Instagram wants to see from me, I am trying to figure out my eating because I'm working out less and I find I'm like, I feel guilty when I'm eating the same amount or eating more. I don't know. I am so confused. And there's like so much stuff going on in my personal life that I'm just like so confused all the time. And I don't know what's going on ever. Oh, I'm almost done my glutamine. I'm just gonna put the rest in here. So I'm like trying to take care of myself the best I can. And slowing down this morning is much needed. Would you guys be mad if I just stopped posting fitness stuff? Like obviously continue posting some fitness stuff, but if I just started talking about like books and coffee and like being cozy, that's all I care about now. I just wanna be happy. Oh, and I'm so tired. I made a tea that the other day. I'm so tired about caring what I look like. Like I'm so tired of it. I'm debating like never posting my body again. <laughs> because I feel like it's added so much subconscious pressure and same with having like a swimwear company I'm like is that also adding pressure to myself all the time like I'm so tied to the way I look and I don't want that anymore I just don't want to care I don't want to care anymore I literally don't have the energy anyways good morning we're starting on a positive note today we are not having a bad day Mm -mm -mm. this right here this is my pre-coffee ritual i like to make sure i'm getting some nutrients hydration and a bit of calories in before i have my coffee now if you just don't look right here my skin looks good right now like it looks pretty good this side of my face is decent it's just here what sorry what's going on on this side of my face why hello it's so exhausting like i thought i was past this everything i tried to do actually we'll do a full fitness update in a different video this is today's not the day it's not the day for a fitness chat that wasn't on the chat gpt schedule okay we've started with our soft lighting oh actually we didn't because it did say string fairy lights around windows or place candles on tables and shelves consider battery operated candles for safety and convenience we did not do all of that. I'm gonna get my battery operated candles and my fairy lights. And I think I wanna deck out my office a little bit. Hey, here's the office currently. I have not really decorated it at all, really, I would say. I do have a pumpkin right there, a little skeleton there, a candle there, a candle there, and my little jack. I found my light up candles. So I think we should kind of decorate my bookshelf a little bit maybe. That seems like a thing I want to do. Here's the desk set up right now. I don't think I'm really going to add anything else to my desk. I think just having my little pumpkin pillow. And then this is a candle. I got this from Adriana. It smells so good. And it matches my... What is this? Not journal. Agenda? I don't know. It matches my planner? Yeah. It matches my planner, which is cool. And then I have my one little, little skeleton man here. And I think that's kind of it for the desk because I don't want it to be too cluttered and busy. And then I don't have much here. I'm gonna move the candles to the bookshelf. I think I'm gonna leave this also kind of chill, but then we have the bookshelf over here. I also haven't showed you my entryway fully, but this is what we have going on here. I ended up leaving these. If you saw my first fall video, I left that there. Just have a little pumpkin there, my little skeleton man. I wanna get like a fall record, like maybe Charlie Brown and the Great Pumpkin or something to put here. And then I have a little incense holder situation here and that's from Sophia little freaking angel why is this so hard for me 
Love ya. I really like this. It's nice and simple and chill. Oh, the sun is coming in. Hey. Okay, bookshelf. This box. This is all the Halloween stuff that I haven't used yet in the coffee bar or anywhere else in the house. So this is up for grabs. Go on the bookshelf. I really want to add another bookshelf beside this one. Let me get out of the way so you can see. I just want to put another bookshelf right here so badly. This is already looking quite full. I'm, I think I want to get another one of these, which is why I did this one not centered and put it here. Because I'm only gonna buy more books, let's be honest. Let's be honest, I, I collect them. I collect books and I collect mugs. Sue me. I think I'm gonna go put like a sweat set on though, because honestly having my shins out right now, I'm kind of cold. And I wanna be ultimate cozy in this video. When I was up there, I was thinking, what? When do I get my coffee? Let me take a look at our list. We're doing the soft lighting right now and bring in autumn scents we've already done with the candle, but we'll light a few more. So that's kind of an ongoing thing. That's the thing. This isn't a list that needs to be completed in order. It's not a routine. It's more just do all these things in the morning and you'll be having a great cozy day. There's no have a hot drink. Oh, there is like a breakfast thing later and that's when the coffee comes into play. But I'm adding my own thing and we're having a coffee right now because I want to have a cozy little coffee while I'm decorating my bookshelf. That's just common sense. Mug options. Actually, I already know which one I feel like using. I feel like using this one today. It's my like more aesthetic mug, I guess. And then I have to do a pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice cake pod. I literally must. First sip. Will that ever get old? Will I ever get tired of having the first sip of coffee in the morning? Because I don't think I will. It just hits every time. It hits every time. Mm. Gotta keep it on my mug warmer because I can't deal with cold coffee. <sighs> that was so drama. Unless it's a pumpkin cream cold brew, I want it to be piping hot. Okay, it smells so overwhelmingly good in my house right now. These candles are crazy. This one is basically gone and i want to use this jar when i'm done like i think i want to put coffee pods in it and use it on the coffee bar or i don't know but i i think i want to keep the jar for sure it's a very cool spooky jar i could put cookies in it or like chocolates and put them on the candy or the candy bar candy bar the chocolate the, the chocolate bar am i okay the coffee bar Girl. <laughs> no, I actually slept so bad last night. I was like half asleep for most of the night and I kept having these dreams about being late. I don't even know what, I don't remember what for, but there was these two girls and me and they kept making me late for everything and I was losing my mind. I was like, I can't be late. Why are we late? And it was just like driving me insane. And I feel like that could be stress manifesting in my dreams. I usually don't remember my dreams. It's very, very, very rare that I remember anything I dream about at night. Like this is the first dream I've remembered in probably like six months. And I don't even remember that vividly. I just remember the feeling of anxiety that we were late. <laughs> okay, we need to decorate. We need to decorate these shelves. Look at them, girl. I have my little skeleton suit. Oh. Where is he? There, sitting on the floor. Aw, what did we name him? I haven't even read the comments. I don't even know what we've named him yet. I need to read the comments on my video. I'm really bad at reading YouTube comments because I get really stressed out that everybody hates me. <laughs> Woo, okay. Let's just see what we have in here firstly. The first thing I've taken out is all my little ghost candles. I don't know if you guys can see them. I keep one of these on my nightstand year round because I just love them. I got these on Amazon. Anything I had got on Amazon, I will link it for you guys. But like, look how cute. I love them. And this is a gigantic box. Oh, here's my light up pumpkin. 
ChatGPT did say create an ambiance, girlfriend. Oh, speaking of ambiance, should we get one going? Yes, what am I saying? Obviously we need an ambiance going on my screen. If there's one thing about me, it's that I need background noise. And I can't listen to songs with lyrics. Like in the spring summer, I do a lot of like fairy woodland vibes in the winter. It's like cozy cafes, snowy mountains. In the fall, it's just like little also cozy cafes, bookstores. And I like to listen to like a lot of, a lot of dark academia, a lot of uh, Harry Potter and like Hogwarts energy. Ambiance is the greatest thing that YouTube has. It's so fun. And I like the ones that have cafe noise because then I feel like I'm working around other people instead of just being alone in my house all the time. Okay. Ah, oh, there's so many things on my desk right now. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, guys, I got gel pens. Side note, this is so side note. I got uh, gel pens. Did you guys use gel pens when you were younger or am I old? I don't know, but I highly recommend getting a little gel pen to write your notes in because it's so much more fun. I have a green one, a blue one, and a pink one, and they're sparkly gel pens. Okay, these candles are all up in my way. <laughs> Excuse me, thank you so much. Cozy, jazz is also so fall. Like that looks super cozy. Ooh, this little reminds me of Rivendell. Like Hogwarts peaceful autumn day. <laughs> There's so many good ones. What do we want to listen to? My whole YouTube feed is this. <laughs> Sweet autumn jazz. I feel like I can't do jazz just in case because I don't want to get copyright. <gasps> Cozy Hobbit House? Yeah, girl. Already, how much more cozy? My little hobba hole with my pumpkins. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. All right, what else do we got in here? So what's, uh, hold on. I need my girl chat. So what set us down this path was the soft lighting fairy light situation. So we have the light up pumpkin, we have real candles, we have my fake candles, but we also have all these other lights that I didn't use. Should we use the creepy skeleton lights? Like I was so set on using these for the coffee bar, but they, it was just too much. Should we use these on the bookshelf? Is that also too much. Okay, we have a ton of little pumpkins. These could go on shelves, I guess, on the bookshelf, I don't know. I don't think I really wanna use any of the like apothecary stuff. I just couldn't fit all these jars on the coffee bar. We could use the creepy frames that I was so set on for the coffee bar because they, they didn't work on there. I do have more candles we could use. I wouldn't light these on a bookshelf. That seems crazy. Okay. I also have these little candles I got on Amazon and they're the candles are red and they're like in a skull. And when it burns, it like comes out his eyes, I think. Again, now putting that on a bookshelf. That seems like an accident waiting to happen. I have this fun skull candle, which I would never light. He's just for looks. So he could go on there. Other little candles. I have a few more little baby skeletons we could use. A few more of these little pumpkins. Here's what we're working with. So we have a lot of pumpkins and candles. Basically, that's what we're working with for the bookshelf. I think I need to do it. I think I need to flip some books around so that I don't have so many bright colors. These are crazy. They're so bright. All the black ones can stay. <laughs> Sorry, Agatar. Even some of those are so bright. All my like Abby Jimenez, all my love, love, lovey, devy bookies, they need to be flipped because they're just, Ow! <laughs> my depth perception with this lens because they're just not they're not they're not really giving fall they're actually really creepy <laughs> these are scary they're so weird and creepy i'm sorry i let you down i said something that I never should have said And I know you're hurting But I've been I don't know, this is like weird 
I feel like these bottom three shelves are fine. And then it starts to get random here. These seem organized, you know, especially like the bottom one's completely flipped. These ones, none of them are flipped. These ones, just the ones in the middle are flipped. All the ones standing up aren't. But here it's like there's one randomly there, one on top, three randomly here. And then here it's just like random. Oh yeah, it's too random. I think that's the problem. Somewhere else I closed my eyes and all I ever saw was her. My head was burning. This is better, right? Not worse? Yeah, there were some really bright books in there. So this definitely dulls it down a bit and prepares us for our fall decor that can go on here. Definitely matches the aesthetic more, right guys? Please tell me it does and that this isn't weird. I, I feel like I'm gonna hate these when they're on there. Where am I supposed to put these? I just really wanna use lights. And how are they supposed to stay? So should we put some knickknacks on there first and do the lights last? Cause these are stressing me out. And it's not okay, it's not all right, but I can't take it back. I just try to feel something I only felt I when we started this. drinking. I know it isn't fair, cause I've been selfish and I wasn't thinking. Cause I still Guys, it's so mid. It's so mid. I don't even want to show you. It's so bad. None of the, the lights were working. It was too much. Even this is too much. I just kept putting stuff on it and everything looks like too much. But that's part of festive decorating, right? It can be too much. I actually really like these candles. That's probably the only thing I like to be completely honest with you. Like these do look cool. And then everything else is so random. I don't mind this guy. I put a little skull there, a pumpkin. Like the little ghosties are random. My little skeletons are so random. I don't know. I do like the little candles though and it's nice to add some ambiance. It's not that bad. It's just not, you know, it's not coffee bar level, but what do I expect from a little bookshelf? Oh, I need to get another one. I need to get another one. It actually does feel cozier in here. <laughs> we need to refer back to ChatGPT now. Our first few items that ChatGPT recommended are definitely done. That took way longer than I thought it was going to. But that's the whole point is having a slow, cozy morning. We did our soft lighting. We have the ambiance going. We have the autumn scents. Next up is layering with textures. Drape cozy blankets and throws over the couch or chairs. There is three blankets on the couch right now. One of them is a Christmas blanket though. So we're gonna get rid of that one. And I think I'm gonna bring down, I just washed our big fluffy white king size comforter. It's actually an Ugg comforter, randomly enough. Just wash that. So I think I'm going to bring that down onto the couch. And then it says to create a cozy breakfast nook. Set up a small breakfast table near a window to enjoy the view of the changing leaves. A pot of hot coffee, chai tea, or pumpkin spice latte can enhance the experience. Pair with a warm breakfast like cinnamon rolls, pumpkin pancakes, or oatmeal topped with nuts and maple syrup. I wish I had cinnamon rolls. I've been craving cinnamon rolls for months now. I don't know what it is. I've just really been craving cinnamon rolls. I think I need to bake some. Should I bake like a pumpkin cinnamon roll sometime soon? I can't in this video. I do not have the ingredients and this is a cozy morning at home and baking stresses me out and we are not, I can't get into baking right now. We're definitely gonna have breakfast now, but I can't make pumpkin pancakes or cinnamon rolls or anything. And I don't really want oats right now. So I think I'm gonna settle for my normal avocado toast. Play soft background music. Put on some relaxing acoustic tunes, gentle jazz, or a soft piano playlist to set a calm and serene tone for the morning. Alternatively, you could listen to nature sounds like the gentle rustling of leaves or a crackling fireplace. So we definitely did that a little bit with ambiance. There was, I think, some rain sounds in there. And I had my chirping birds this morning, but let's do some gentle jazz. Play jazz music by Ella Fitzgerald. Playing Ella and Louie by Ella Fitzgerald and Louie Armstrong from Apple Music. This is our story, yeah. Can't we be friends? Thought I'd found a man I could trust. Uh, should I care? The weather is frightening. The turn in the so lovely day. Everything's okay. 
Jazz music makes me so happy. Bro, and oh. I'm obsessed with tea right now. It's tea time. The perfect tea mug. It's gigantic. You always need a huge mug when you have tea. It's from Home Sense. I have been having chocolatey chai mixed with my spearmint tea. I like to make a tea cocktail. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I like to mix multiple teas together. I'm sure other people do that, but I'm kind of wanting this one. This one's very on brand for today and I haven't actually tried it yet. This is the decaf pumpkin spice, a unique seasonal treat brimming with aromatic pumpkin spice flavors. Next item, firstly I got my cozy blanket out, is to cozy up with a good read or a movie. Of course we're gonna read. Pick up a favorite book, magazine, or start a cozy feel-good movie. This could be the perfect time to dive into a mystery novel or a romantic comedy. How about a heist book? <laughs> and then number eight is stay warm and comfortable. Wear soft, warm clothing like a chunky knit sweater, wool socks, or a cozy robe. I wore a robe this morning, I didn't even read th that far. Consider adding a pair of soft slippers for extra comfort. Okay, we have options. I think I already know I'm gonna go with this one, but I am also reading Zodiac Academy on here. This is my book before bed book. Zodiac Academy is so fall. It's dark academia, so very fall vibes. I'm on book five, so I can't talk too much about it. I, I would say I'm like 40, I'm probably about 46% through Six of Crows. I'm loving it so far. However, I do understand how difficult this would be to read without watching this show or reading Shadow and Bone first. I am so thankful that I watched Shadow and Bone on Netflix before reading this because they jump right into it. They don't really describe anything. They don't say what a Grisha is. They don't explain anything. They just kind of go into the story. I don't know if you're supposed to technically read Shadow and Bone before this, but Man, I'm so glad I watched the show. So book club, if you are reading this this month with me, maybe binge watch Shadow and Bone on the weekend first because I was noticing on Discord a few of you girlies saying that it was very confusing. Completely agree because I would have been lost, I think, at the beginning of this book. It's also nice to have a visual for the characters. I don't know, I feel like the cast that they picked for Shadow and Bone was perfect for these characters. So it's nice to have them in my mind. So I think I'm gonna read this for a little bit because ChatGPT told me to. Oh my god, my tripod. Why is that weird? I can't have that in the back. I am in the same spot, but I am wearing a t-shirt now and it's hours later. I I literally only had time to read like 10 pages. I had too much work to do. So I read a few pages and then my peaceful, calm, chill, beautiful morning had to end because I did have work responsibilities that I needed to get to. I just want to read. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's... Okay, I can't wear these because the reflection of the... I don't know if it's a change of the seasons or if it's like burnout in myself. I am so exhausted the past two weeks. I have no energy. I've gone to the gym 
twice in the past two weeks. I have been trying to keep up with yoga and Pilates, but I've only lifted like twice. Both workouts were terrible. I have no energy. I don't know what's going on. I don't usually feel like this. Maybe the week before my period, sure, but I'm day three period now. This is when I should start to be feeling way better. If I still feel sluggish and tired this next week, something's wrong. Something is off because I usually have so much energy from now until I'm ovulating. And I'm so goddamn tired. When I tell you all I wanna do is sit down and read, that is it. I don't wanna talk to anyone. I don't wanna look at anyone. I don't wanna do anything. I don't wanna post anything. <laughs> I literally just wanna sit down and read and have nobody bother me. Alas, that isn't real life and I can't do that. I think I'm just gonna start becoming a booktuber and like a book, bookstagrammer a book talk person because I just want to read all the time and I don't want to have any other responsibilities. Besides YouTube, I actually love YouTube. I love YouTube. Besties. God damn, am I exhausted. And I do not want to complain, but I'm just saying if you also feel exhausted, maybe it is the change of the seasons and we're all going through it right now. I don't know. I did most of the things chat GPT recommended. I would have loved to read for two hours, not for 10 minutes, but that's okay. I'll read before bed and I will definitely read more this weekend. That's it for this video because it is now 2 p.m. So it's, I really can't, I can't film anything else. It's not morning anymore. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this chat GBT style video. I was gonna do one that wasn't just at home and chat GBT had me running around all over the place. It was like, go to this cafe and then go to a pumpkin patch and then go do this and it was, it, it had a lot of ideas. So if you're interested in a part two, let me know. Or maybe we can do an evening routine version. Or if you'd rather I just create the routine myself, let me know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.